Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the new device I have here to review on the channel. This is, by the way, already a very old product, but I wanted to show it here because I'm also inter interested in old, new, obscure, weird, portable devices. I already did a similar product that was called the Wikipad. Don't forget to check it out. Really awesome product. And here we have this product called Big Ben. It's a seven inch tablet, it's old, it's scratched up, but basically it does the same thing like the Nintendo Switch. Yup, it does exactly the same. So this video, we are going to talk about seven inches of fun with Big Ben. Wait, that sounded pretty damn warm, but yeah, whatever. You know what I'm showing say, let's go and let's talk about and let's do a bit of an overview. So what I already mentioned is that this is more like a two-one. It's an, a tablet that you could use for browsing the internet. And for playing games, you are going to get this Big Ben controller that you can basically click on this tablet. That's pretty cool. cool. It's not new. The Wikipad did exactly the same thing. But what you're going to get is a very high quality, awesome product. And it's running on Android, so we can basically do whatever we want with it. Okay, so let's pull out the little tablet because I want to talk about the tablet. But hey, I, can, I didn't put my camera in the right position. Oh, wait, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good. All right, so let's talk about the tablet itself. So here you can see that it's made with this, I think it's a sort of kind of a metal housing, pretty damn cool. Here at the top, we're finding quite some different connections. So let's see, we're having on and off over here, we're having volume control, we're having headphone out, and we even have an HDMI mini. So we can connect this thing to your television. This is the input for charging, micro SD, and it even has a microphone. Here at the back, we're finding some other information, and oh man, this is very nice. It looks very good. It also feels very heavy, big band, and here we're having a mono speaker. Very curious how this is going to work. We have a shitty camera, like always, and here we have the reset. Already powered on to check it out. Need to get used to the controls. All right, let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get with this. So the first thing that I noticed is that it is quite responsive. But there was a catch, and for the people who are familiar with Android, already sees it. I just think it's the most common problem with these Android devices. It's running on very old Android, and this is basically Android 4. Yeah, so it is a quad core, it has quite some power inside. It has, an, let's say, a very basic resolution. I will show you with ADA 64. As you can see, it works still very fast. But here even my IDA64 is not booting up or somehow. But I can tell you this thing runs on... Oh wait, it, it doesn't. It works. It works. Okay, so let's talk about the specifications. It has a GameTap1 name. If you look at the model number. Manufacturer is DigiPin or something like that. What is it? DigiPin or something like this. All right, we're having here hardware is an Archie 30 port inside. Mm, okay, we're having here total memory of 2000 MB or 2 gigabytes. In total, internal storage is 16 gigabyte or in total 14.17 gigabyte that we still have left for using. Let's take a closer look at the battery. As you see, it's still in very good condition. So that is not bad for a very old version. As you can see, it works on Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. The store is able to work, so that is very convenient, but of course, due of security reasons, I would not recommend using it with your Gmail account. Okay, so let's take a close look at the CPU. This thing is running on an ARM Gotex A9 that is clocked on 608 megahertz. It's a 32-bit ARM for V7. Four cores, as you can see over here. Okay, let's check the display. So as you can see, the screen resolution is 1024 by 600. So that is pretty damn old, a mighty 400 MP. So, um, but it is running on 60 Hertz. All right, so as you can see, it's very old spec. But okay, let's talk about how does it work in the docking. It's like the Nintendo Switch, you slide it in like this. Yeah, wicked, slide it in like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a little connector here at the bottom. It will connect with the controller like this. It will get the power from the tablet itself. So what you only need to do is power it on. As you can see, the LED goes on, so everything works. So this is basically plug and play.
All right, so let's see. I don't know which button I need to use, but we'll find out. Oh. It doesn't play bad at all for a very old Android. Oh crap, I have a problem. Oh, yeah, I have a problem indeed. For M64, it depends a little bit what kind of emulator you're using. If you're using an old one like this one, it will have a problem with different games. But the basic launch game will run fine. And look, by the way, amazing on this low resolution Big Ben display. Alright, so let's try to record what you can see that the image itself. It looks good when you're having, let's say, playing gameplay, but with dark games, you can see it's very reflective. In this case, very hard to record from. But nevertheless, let's play some games. Configuring the controls are very easy, it works like a charm. This, by the way, the loudest it goes if it comes to the sound itself. All the buttons are here, so if you want to play PlayStation, there is no problem with it. I think I can't, I didn't configure the right analog stick. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit hard to capture from this, but if it comes to PlayStation, it works like a charm. When it comes to GBA, it also depends a little bit what kind of emulator you are using. But as you can see, even with a very old Android version, it doesn't have any problems at all. I can use the analog stick and the D-pad. The D-pad is very nice for adventure games. And it's pretty damn cool to play this thing on a 7-inch display. And the D-Bed is very, very responsive. But what I wanted to show you, and this is a big problem if it comes to these, let's say, old Android devices. For example, I'm getting the freaking error with this PPSSPP version. And I think the main reason is simply because this is a, such an old version of Android. And the same goes for GameCube, Dreamcast. For low-end stuff, it's fun to play these games. But if you want to run the high-end stuff, no, 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 no. So an old Big Ben 7H is not the way to go. Okay, so let's play just a touch-based game and let's see how good it runs. For a very old system, it runs pretty nice. Very responsive. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to show you a short gameplay. So what is also very cool, as you can see over here, that when you're connecting the controller, what I understand of this program that you basically can spoof the system. For example, if you could play a game like Call of Duty, you can remap the controller over here with these buttons. So at the end, what you're going to get is that you can play the touchscreen games with your controller. So that's also very cool. 
A lot of new, let's say newer systems like the MoQ i7 have this similar kind of software. So there you have it guys. And uh, this is what you're going to get with the BenQ 7 inch device. I don't know if you can pick it up for a couple of euros or dollars on eBay for example. But I want to know from you, what do you think of this? What do you think of a product like this? Do you think this is still worth the money? Uh, or are you more searching for something that is more powerful? Of course, way expensive, but that you can play, for example, games like PSP, Sega Dreamcast, GameCube, Sega Saturn, and that kind of things. I think it's a cool collectible in the collection. Uh, I purchased it for a couple of euros, so that is fun to have. It's not a very good condition. The screen is very scratched up. You can play some games, um, but it's more like a fun collectible nowadays. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And if you have any questions, you can also leave it in the comments. And it would be great to have you in the Wicked family, because I will see you in the next one.